What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to live stream takeover. Make sure everything's working, but episode 214. And again, Matt is off gallivanting in tiny electric vehicles uh, for a different purpose. He's go karting. Is this week two or three of go karting? I don't remember. You guys will have to remind me. I think it's only week two. There's five of these weeks that we have ahead. Five total. Whatever one we're on, you do the math. But again, we have arranged new guests for this week. Uh, having the guys from, or two of the guys from Deluxe Fab on, uh, Chris and Montana. So those are the two that will be joining us here in a little bit. Um, so that's going to be the plan. We'll go through some of the other stuff beforehand. I do have some mail call. And I can't decide. Matt did text me and say that he's going to be later, possibly than normal. So uh, he's he's very proud of himself, though. So far, he's got his best time, but everything's going slower. So I'm not sure, really sure what that says. They just finished qualifying and getting into the rest of it. But <laughs> that's uh, that's what's going on. So check in where you're watching from. Make sure this whole thing is going down properly. Anyway, uh, Chris Kelly, yes, Chris Kelly is going to be the one and the and Montana. So those are the two who will be joining us. Chris Kelly often joins us in here. Uh, we can drag this out as long as we need. We got nothing but. Fun. Yes, exactly. Uh, so we've got a. Uh, I've got I did bring my deluxe fab MOA home because it was at the office and I've got my sporty. Up there. We have some of those to talk about and whatever those guys have around to discuss as well. Now, Matt won't have this by the time the show comes, but I did send Matt off his page. I finished it this weekend and uh, got it shipped out the other day. So he uh, he will have his so he can get started on this whole process as well the moon buggy stuff is going well the build along guys are making great progress um uh, many of them some of them are just actually getting rolling now there's you know some people dove in and committed to the build uh and then they're like okay now i've got to go get all these tools <laughs> so there was definitely some delay uh delay by many but that's it so sending the normal amount of hate from south dakota <laughs> Got my moon from DMG. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Death Metal Garage been pumping out a bunch of moon buggies lately as well. So, um, but yeah, we're making making progress on, I'm going to tonight probably spend a good bit of time working on the interior design. As you can see, I've started on my, I talked about it a little bit, I think maybe last week or week before, but that I would be designing my own figure. Um, and we've, currently printed in marble PLA, but molded into the seat. I've got to adjust the leg positioning a little bit more because there's going to be servos up there. Um, I'm going to start kind of getting all that stuff dialed in here soon because we're to that point. This is done. So things, it's just no time like the present to start cranking this stuff out, but I'm super pumped with this. This was the first one that I made, the one that I said was going to be mats, but it was already put together. I didn't want to have to take it apart and then redo it. Where's his head? Uh, I didn't worry about that part so much yet. I figure I can find a helmet, drill it on, whatever it happens to be. Um, we'll figure that part out in the future. But <laughs> that didn't seem as important. What I am, what I did tell Matt that I was going to do, I said, hey, uh, I'm probably going to have you print and detail these so that he can uh, take care of that. But you know, at least we've got a, a figure and see everything. It's all printed at once. I molded the driver figure right into the model of the seat. And it was just like, you're one now. <laughs> Make it so. So that's, uh, I think that that's just going to work out really well. And of course, then it's all molded around the transmission. Yeah. 3D scan your head. Ah, I know. Is the, ah, just... I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> hey, look at that. Jerry is in the chat. Casey Remote Crawlers. Everybody can say hi to Jerry, the DMG. Good seeing you, Jerry. It's been a while. 
thanks for checking in. So, <laughs> um, make a mini you so you can have. Ah, oh, I know. I just feel. I feel like I'd have to get Nicole to come do it, and I feel like that is. I feel like she would lose interest halfway through, and I'd have to like mirror my head, and I don't think that my face is very symmetrical, so. <laughs> I don't think that it will work out. That's, uh, you know. Uh, let's see. Uh, Josh, is there an install sheet for the BTA aluminum mount? Uh, not sure which screws go where. Um, I don't think that there is. They just, uh, but, or at least not that I know of. You know, there's an upper screw that goes into the top side of the, up in there that's the a longer screw that goes there um into your one piece bearing retainer you've got one screw that'll go for your upper link on that side um actually on sorry on the other side and you can reuse the existing one on the other side or anything it's they're pretty simple just kind of throw it in there make sure that the uh you've got enough threads you know engaging and and you'll be fine it's not i wouldn't worry too much um I mean, you can only see one side of your face anyway. I'm not sure that that's true. I don't think that's how that goes. Spray your whole face with hairspray and scan. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. On the moon buggies, are Capra 18 axles allowed? Uh, they would be allowed, but they wouldn't be a great choice. Um, you would need a really tiny buggy design for Capra 18 axles. Um, Regular, like an F10 axle is, a, I, th I feel like, a great choice. It's not too wide, but or it's not too narrow, but it's about where you want it to be. Beyond that, you know, you could go wider, but going narrower is not likely something that I would choose personally. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that that would be my that would be my suggestion is don't use the Capra 18s. Uh, can I pay you to smack Josh real quick? <laughs> yes. Uh, are the reefs winch mounts for the BRD available yet? I believe that those are going to be available Friday. I don't know that I'm supposed to say that or not, but I think that those will be Friday. So check that out. He might have a couple of other things Friday. I'm not sure what I was or wasn't supposed to say, but I did check in on a couple of those things. So. You're only a couple of days away from that little feature function. That stuff is flammable, but Andy, uh, you're except I made my own scanning spray now. Now it separates, which is a problem, but if you shake it, it that's not anymore. Um, now I, I'm not a hundred percent certain that I can say that this works as well or not yet. The directions on making this were very unclear. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's figure out. Either way, it's mostly rubbing alcohol. So still not something that <laughs> I necessarily want to spray on my face. Um, and having a beard is also an issue with scanners. So I feel like the dry shampoo may be the better. But yeah, this stuff is nasty. Nasty. <laughs> Nicole, smack it. I don't think she's camera ready. Hmm. I'm, and I, I'll tilt the camera that way just so that she has to has to be in the line the whole way. <laughs> uh, then you're in the mood. What's new from Vanquish? It's not how that works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it was that I can say that it was Friday. I'm just not sure about the other things. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> just also i'm not getting that <laughs> what thickness styrene do people use for bodies uh i'm probably not the right person to ask that for oh 40 oh 60 would be my recommendation um layer it where needed for extra strength that type of thing that would be that'd be the the right way pens vp pens are the new, are new yes we do need some nice just you know good fountain pen i can I'm, i could get into it i just have to decide but 
this has been my current obsession. Uh, last night, I didn't get any work done on it. I was over at uh, Gately helping with some audio, audio design stuff. So I didn't get any RC work done. But tonight, that will not be the case. I will be deep into interior design of this, but not the normal one. BP upgrades for the TWSBI 580. The 580 Diamond is the one to get. It's a great pen. Highly recommend. Just makes you feel better when you write things down. You can, uh, you know, tax time is here. Write those checks to make you feel. No. Hope you got your taxes done. But, and if you did, crack a beer. <laughs> uh, we'll have some uh, liquid death to get the going on. What's, what is this one? Rest in peach. It's very good. I'm not normally a peach, a peach, uh, fan but let's see so that freaking bougie pen you're right your president legend buck dandy rest in peach is so yeah i'm just not normally a peach person but for some reason those are so good but the uh the build off stuff build along not build off build along those guys are making great progress i'm hoping to put some stuff up I need to do an actual video for it. And now that I've got it to this point, I've said it for a while that I need to uh, I need to get an actual video of it up. But I just got to figure out when that is, when that's going to be the time, hopefully in the next couple of days or so. Maybe that's what I'm, maybe that's how I'll, I'll try and plan it. My shocks should be here any day. I ordered the pricey customs um, shocks built to the specs that I was looking for. And I'm, I'm excited to get those on there to get the final ride height. And I can make a lot of other plans around that. So, you know, waiting for parts is always, saying, especially when they're coming from Australia, man, I, I would not do well if I lived down there and had to wait for everything to come over. It would be, it would be a, a lot of work. So will the pens be kits or RTO? <laughs> Batteries not included. So anyway, I hope that you guys are, uh, it's build season. I wonder how many of you guys are actually going to be in Colorado. That's going to be the fun part. So I have a few things to do for mail call. And I'm going to think I'm going to do those now, even though Matt's not here. This isn't stuff we normally talk about on the channel, but they're toys. So I feel like I'm okay with it. Um, some of you may be fans of this side of the world. Some of you may not, but this is the toy side. So, Hey, it's different, but, uh, these are the goat guns and I picked up the little 1911 model and you, they come unassembled. You have to assemble the slide, all that type of stuff. Uh, it's got, you know, a realistic magazine. Uh, it's cause realistic cartridges. You can actually rack the slide. It should. Oh, it didn't. Sorry, we've got a we've got a jam already. Typical 1911. So, <laughs> so finicky 1911s. Must not be. Uh, must not have cleaned it after the last time. We'll figure that out later. Don't worry about that little guy. Uh, not an advertisement anyway. Uh, I also got this kit, which I have not assembled yet. Maybe I'll do that. that. I got this kit. <laughs> um, and then the one that I'm most excited about is this big guy. So that... That is the one, again, I am the most excited about. Uh, it's got an optic on there, shells, mag, big old muzzle brake on the end. Uh, for the second one, for this guy, I also got an optic, a foregrip, and an extra P mag. <laughs> Too much fun. Too much fun. We won't talk about that more specifically. However you feel about it. 
Uh, and then I got another box. You needed another collectible hobby. <laughs> The, I feel like these fit in. They're not different. It's not different. It's just a, you know, you know. Now you need cat size holsters. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> a real laser? No, no laser. Just, I believe that they do have crosshairs. I haven't actually looked. Um, so, but the other one, this one came today. Uh, from, oh, you know what? Did I bring my the other Hot Wheel one that I got in? Oh, I don't think I did. Dang it. I think I forgot to bring the other Hot Wheels. I got some Hot Wheels. They might be at the office still. Uh, the uh... <laughs> Nicole. Gunner. My meat belongs to your mouth. Listen. Hello, all. Tonight's code is hashtag aluminum chassis for the win use that code at satisfied jerky to save yourself 10 percent off at satisfied jerky you can also use hashtag cowboy 10 to save 10 dollars additional off the cowboy jerky i was eating some of the sweet and hot cowboy today i love the cowboy i know not as many not as many people do as regular jerky it's the dryer i love dryer jerky but, uh, and Gunner's code is because I'm giving him shit because he wants to build the moon buggy in aluminum. I'm like, no, just build it in steel. He won't listen. Huzzah! Thank you very much. This is for coloring that rig the same as that. Ooh. Also, did any of your scan videos show how to convert the scan into an STL directly? Um, I don't think that I ever did show that process completely directly. Um, the, the software will basically do it in there, but mo uh, most of the times my scans. So to do it as an STL directly, you basically need it to be complete. And a lot of times for me, like mine are not complete. Like it won't have a bottom or something like that. And that's because I just need reference for everything else. That's usually how I, what I'm after. So I've, I'm not normally trying to scan something to replicate to print right away. But if I do my own melon, then I suppose I do need to. And maybe, maybe I'll do that. Maybe we'll try it. Nicole, we have a project tonight. I got, I got more treasures and we have a project. She'll be pumped. Dale C, been a minute. Hmm, sir, you live in California. We consider us such. We're so <laughs> Come and take it. <laughs> Rack the tiny slide. <laughs> Big Deborah, uh, please help. Need help with stance RT. Um, well, this it will be. This is probably not the bet. I would suggest like uh, messaging me through. Um, uh, Instagram is the easiest place for me to um, find and respond to messages. But Big Deborah, are you a fan of uh, Good Mythical Morning? Because that's what I think of when I think of that name. So <laughs> anyway, um, Aardvark Splain, have you ever considered consuming? <laughs> I have to remember <laughs> to, to pre-screen all of his. Hashtag, hashtag another code for tonight. Hashtag Josh is a horrible influence. <laughs> I'm a great influence and amazing idea for all to enjoy. Uh, anyway, I got this other package today. This came from George uh, GC Coop. He's often in here, uh, but sent me the McLaren Lego set, a Tomica uh, GTR, which is a sick wide body. GTR. And one of the coolest pieces is like a custom resin stubby rear to my TIG torch. So I'll definitely try and get this put on the backside of my TIG torch here soon because the colors are awesome and the resin, like you probably can't tell, but the resin's like deep and you can see, you know, like metallics or pearls in it, something like that. Uh, super cool. So I've got a CK torch and I think I have to double check that thread. I hope that that is the right thread for mine. But 
uh, even more importantly, he wrote like a nice note that went along with it. Just and the note in general is is super nice. Nicole keeps all of these, so that is it's both of our favorite part. But she keeps she keeps all the little notes and things like that. I don't know that she cares if I keep the Legos as much as the note. <laughs> she loves the note, so so. <laughs> Uh, let's see. The uh, wait. Everyone just doesn't believe I still exist. <laughs> I do. I'm, I'm waiting. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Way cool torch back. I totally agree, Jerry. It's super cool. Uh, eight more door. Tom Havel. Thank you very much question for the audience who wants to see wheelie yellow on the show and how do we get him here wheelie yellow do i i have to google that wheelie yellow who is wheelie yellow um wheelie in my little wait did i see Oh my God. I've actually seen like uh, these videos in the last day or two on social media. <laughs> I've never, never seen that before, but then all of a sudden over the last two days, it's just like, like these videos, the little van just rolling all over the place. Hey, blurry. Nicole. Oh, the depth of field is super shit. <laughs> See, or was that actually her? It was, it was blurry. You never know. It's my alibi. <laughs> uh, Instagram little mail truck go full speed. Yeah. Like, did that just pop up out of nowhere? Have you guys been watching that for a while? Because it's definitely not something that I had seen. Also, why is the clock on my PC off now? It says it's 530 in here. Whatever. <laughs> That's, that was Moose John a wig. Good lord. All right. I'm going to get an invite sent to these two gentlemen and get them so that they can get loaded in. And then I'll add them once everything is set and ready to go. But we'll see how this goes. Min I can usually trust people from the Midwest, but you never know with these deluxe people. It's a. Uh, you're going to have to be quick on the trigger. You never know what they're going to say. But, no, I think it's going to be good. Obviously, I'm sure most of you are aware of Deluxe Fab products, but you don't always see a lot from them. Uh, like JJ, I see him post quite a bit in the Facebook groups, things like that, the fan pages. But like beyond that, I don't see a lot from them on social media. You know, but Or maybe I just don't see it. Who knows? Can't be trusted. I'm pretty sure they're like, they're northerners even, like Minnesota, which you really have to be. All of the people from Minnesota that I know are, you got to be careful. So <laughs> thank you very much, Michael Ra Michael Rajka. Uh, does Matt bolster his ego beating 12-year-olds? Oh, we have to do the poll tonight before Matt gets on here. He did say that he had set his best time. So, but does that mean it was, so we're going to call it, uh, if you got into Q, uh, well, let's see. I'm going to start a poll real quick. Did Matt make the fast group? We're going to start that poll. But right when he joins, we'll find out. <laughs> So, <laughs> because you just don't, he was close last year, remember? Last year, last week, a year ago, last week. So, those guys are getting that figured out. <laughs> uh, Deluxe is located in Shakopee, Minnesota. That's good to know. Shakopee. Um, I I definitely knew that at one point, but I could only, you know, 
get that down to a statewide <laughs> just generalization by the time I actually needed to come up with it. So they're not in here yet, but one of them, I think Chris has seen the message. So you say it wrong. Now that does not see. Here's the other, this is the other Minnesotan I know, and the sketchiest one of the of I've gotten more trouble around that one. Second most sketchy would be Alex, number one mod. That's <laughs> <laughs> let's see just ordered a set of deluxe shocks nice i've uh i mean i've got the deluxe shocks on my deluxe cars which I, like i said i did bring now as you can see uh it's still in a bit of a state of unfinishedness but we're gonna work on that actually uh the local guys here are getting these the getting the uh moa comps fired back up so that is the motivation that I needed because I was building these the first time for an event, which is what I always build trucks for. And then I got the sick at the time of the event and uh, had to cancel our trip down there. So that was, uh, that was unfortunate. And then with that, I just didn't finish. Cause like, I'm probably two hours worth, of time away from finishing both this one and uh well the sporty is running well it was didn't i cut something out of it the other day during a live stream <laughs> uh you know you know so we'll have this handy for for that All right now are, oh are these guys both at the same place now because they said they weren't going to be yes they are all right let's get them added so they're getting moving things around yeah, this goes. Now, that's not going to work that way. <laughs> we can't make things too easy on you. We'll figure this out. We'll figure out how this is going to look or work best. So, how's it going, gentlemen? It's going good. No, this one. Good jeans. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> uh, and happy birthday to Tom. So <laughs> introduce uh, both of yourselves. Uh, my name is Montana Strait and Chris Kelly. So you guys both at Deluxe. Now, full time? Yep. Nice. How long have you guys both been there? I've been there for almost a year and a half. Okay. So yeah, it's been a, been a little while then. Because yeah, you've been a, there. A little over a year. A little over a year? Okay. And what is, uh, what's your guys' day-to-day at the shop? I do a lot of uh, building of, like, the super light axles are mm -hmm. all built by me. Um, and then a lot of a lot of shocks, a lot of shocks, a lot of drive shafts, a lot of shocks, um, and shipping orders. Chris, yeah. what about you? A few uh, hundred pairs of shocks today, some transmissions, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Typical. Yeah. Just, just the day to day going through there. Yeah, now we build a lot uh, of chassis and stuff. For for some people, a little bit of background, I guess. Uh, Deluxe Fab tip or previously was uh, started by a guy named Eric Die. He was up out of the Pacific Northwest, I believe, or he moved there um, at some point. Uh, and he, you know, he had a, a number of designs, things like that. The products before were always a little like they were close. They were always close. <laughs> But you know, sometimes they needed a little, they needed a little massaging or a little bit of things here and there. Um, and it went up for sale how long? A few years ago now. I think it's been there for about three and a half years. Yeah. Three and a half years. Something I like probably that. have it. Roughly. I probably have it in the scale news uh, spreadsheet that I could check. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but yeah. So, and the. Uh, the new owner, he is from the off-road world, right? The full-size off-road world. Iron Rock yes. off-road. Yeah. <laughs> Iron Rock. I was yeah. going to call it green something, and I knew I wasn't right. Um, so those are that does Deluxe Fab exist in that business or alongside of it or completely separate? Um, owned by Iron Rock. Yeah. We're, we're doing business as Deluxe Fab, but uh -huh. we're part of Iron Rock. Yep. Gotcha. Like, are you guys at the same place or are you... Yep. Yeah, we're in oh. the same piece of property, same area. So nice. Yeah. So that's I mean, 
it was uh it was great to see that that you know it was picked up by somebody who because oftentimes these businesses get bought by someone who just ends up like they sell what they had before but they weren't necessarily going to be taking and developing and or even improving what the previous was yeah but yeah. i feel like it's stepped up a lot and that's a huge focus of ours is like always improving stuff like a lot of stuff people don't necessarily see like shocks for instance mm -hmm. we've made a lot of revisions to those and like tweaks that a lot of people even like our biggest fans haven't picked up on always <laughs> it's little things that can make a huge difference so like shock pistons are one of the more recent things that we really spent a lot of time um refining those and really mm -hmm. dialing them in and uh yeah they've made a huge difference they're way quicker to react now they don't get any kind of stiction they're way more consistent the tuning window is way wider so it's little things go a long way yeah um yeah, I mean, little stuff like that. It 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 is. It's the it's what everything takes, you know, day to day to to make that stuff better. Uh, you guys are doing some manufacturing in house as well, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and that seems like it's been growing more and more and picking up more machines and things like that. As we can, yeah. I mean, we're like within Deluxe, we're kind of limited on space, which is always I know a battle. How that goes. <laughs> I, know how, <laughs> so, hey, I, I know how that goes. Absolutely. But yeah, we're always pretty much consistently looking to expand and kind of bring out new stuff, increase performance on existing products too. And mm -hmm. really, because like all the transmissions, all the shocks, all of it's built in house. So me and Montana, for the most part, do like all the transmissions and everything. So we really put a lot of focus on like making sure everything's really as good as it can possibly be. So. Gotcha. Now, Deluxe Fab is in the chat. Which one of the other guys is? Probably Beast. Okay, Matt, right? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, he is the one I worked with, uh, like, when I picked up the MOA. Uh, and he was awesome. Like, he was a, he was great to work with, had a lot of, he helped me kind of through. I came from the world of MOAs, but, uh, you know, this MOA setup is the super lights and everything were, were awesome. They're like a way better version of the Bergs that I ran in the <laughs> past, right? <laughs> yeah, we still have a few of those that kick around, and, like, I've got a way different in yeah almost I'm, all areas now i've got a brand new set of berg axles like in their factory box still at the shop like just nice. <laughs> i mean we can sell you knuckles and stuff for those no 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 <laughs> <laughs> i'm good <laughs> uh they, i think that they could stay just like that that's fine they can sit next to my single bully two axle like that's <laughs> I think we have a single bully two axle also sitting <laughs> yeah. on the shelf. It's just in the box there. What do you do with that? I'm like, I don't know. It's just there. It's just we have a lot of stuff it. like that that just kind of, it's like, why do we have this? Well, I mean, we don't want to throw it out or anything. So, Oh, I know. It's brand new. Yeah. What, yeah. How could yeah. I not? Yeah, you can't just discard that kind of stuff. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Someone could need some sort of measurement. But, yeah, the uh, so this is the asylum or is that my sporty the asylum is the sporty right yeah which one what what is this one it's a what mercenary it? mercenary yep that's what it is now is this still close to what you guys are offering as your yeah, you guys offer these the mercenary that's still everywhere. the same configuration as how we offer it now yep. right and you can get them all the way from the kit stuff like i got to like fully rtr yep yep yeah if you want to send us a radio we will program it and have it ready to go to you so has anyone tried to send you an mt12 uh, radio master yet no i'm still yeah. waiting for you to tell me how they work <laughs> with futaba and then we'll play with it a little bit <laughs> yeah right i actually i need to i need to get my uh mt12 put onto this and see exactly how much how much work that that is going to be but <laughs> that's that's on the on the list of things to get accomplished so which one of you guys is having to uh build the rtr versions of these they usually are kind of a multi-step yeah. process. Um, yeah. Yeah, usually uh, we'll send tires to Beast, and Beast will build them, or another local guy, Nick. Um, I'll build the axles, assemble the chassis, and put that all together, and then I'll give it off to JJ, and he'll solder everything, program, and wire everything up for him. And Montana does, like, most of the mercenaries. I do the majority, like, the Lunatics, our newer sporty chassis. Um, okay. Do you have one of those? 
not with us. I was gonna grab one. We figured we would bring something a little bit different <laughs> instead. So we got a new oh. mini that we'll show off a little bit. And, oh, okay, excellent. That's yeah. fun. So the uh, a couple things to surprise you with. Oh, nice. Well, I'm we're up for anything you guys want to show. Uh, I guess you know some of the other big things other than like just. Not everyone's into full robots, as we as we oh, say, yeah. I know. Um, but like the deluxe portal trans, the nod twos, all of those, those are super popular. Um, we got in the, the scale Nessie, world. Nessies, class What's two, that class one? Three, the Nessie. Nessie, yes. And then that's that. got the OD3 trans in it. This so, one's up with cap axles. You want to talk a little bit about that trans? Sure. Yeah, so that's the OD3. Um, that's going to be an overdrive trans. Um, you can run it with or without the overdrive if you want to it's really kind of designed for overdrive if you look on the back there's two outputs so this one will get you zero overdrive and then this one will get you your okay technically underdrive to your yeah yeah sure so, so one of the trains we offer gotcha and that's kind of your your class two class three type yep then we other... so i don't know how many of the pictures got kind of passed around but like out at moab for easter jeep Mm -hmm. They had some RTRs and everything of one of the newer revisions of this. We call it like the Nessie 2. There's not necessarily like an official, official name for it, but that one's actually set up for AR44. So if someone wants to have a comp rig or like kind of a higher end trail rig even and set up with AR44s that they might have, mm -hmm. it's an option. But what is that one set up for typically? That's this Capra's. Like Capra's. Uh, right. But then we do it with like SS Deluxe. Um, Front and rear, if you want, DX44 fronts, which is our kind of it's low profile. Air 44 with custom axle that has uh, servo and axle mount, and stuff like that pre built into it. Yep. Um, the Air 44 Nessie is meant to be a little bit of a budget one. I've been driving one, doing comps with it and stuff for almost a year now, and I'm a huge fan of it. They work super well. Yeah. The, uh, I guess, what's your guys' kind of comp routines up there do you have decent local groups are you guys traveling uh we do there's comps here like once a month with local clubs and then um there's events that people travel to uh i went to disney oklahoma last year with the best a bunch of people <laughs> yeah uh we stayed in a huge house with like 20 people we stayed with baller i know you know him oh, of course and some other people yeah it was a really good time that was my first national count ballers in the ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't miss Ryan. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, the uh, the houses around Disney there, uh, obviously, you know, pretty plentiful being on the lake. Yeah, I can imagine that would be a great. I would like to make it to another one down there, whatever it may be, Crawlapalooza or whatever big event, because I do love Disney. Even Nicole loves Disney. Well, and one of us had to stay behind and fill orders and build trans and shocks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, you know, like we run into that at the shop too, because Dan, who does most of our shipping, he's an enthusiast like us. So we have big national events. We're like, okay, luckily though, we've got some people that are just, they know everything really well, but they, they're, have no they don't necessarily know what it does they just know <laughs> like oh i know exactly what that part is and the part number and where it's at but yeah. right. so we don't have to worry about them leaving the shop so <laughs> one benefit of having some people there that are that are not just fully into it but yeah the uh so you've got let's see the, over this last year or so what's been your your newest products that have been your you know some of the big ones I would say the wheels were a new product um, that came out okay. within this last year. And uh, we have we have some new ones. <laughs> I was like, that's a Pokemon ball, I think. You're going to make it a little bit weirder. Right? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm a giant nerd. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we have, that's um, good, good, new, good uh, that's Sorry, the stuff is not the best in I here. Hey, they're yeah. orange even. Yeah, it's like a yeah, copper, copper, okay. orange kind of a color. Yeah. Yep. Um, so these wheels we've had prior, um, but these are now a 2 2 version of the wheel. Uh, oh, okay. Before we only had 1 9. On the inside, they're super high clearance. So you yep. can get some larger weights within them that are class three legal, class two legal, if you have a 475 that you want to stretch on them. Ah, uh, yeah. Because that's. Uh... We do have some. We do have some tighter 
weight type or con wheel construction rules. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and like we offer some very sizable, like lower um, kind of weights for mm -hmm. lowers for like our knuckles and everything and the hubs. So it's, you can kind of optimize weight in the right spots that way. Sure. Absolutely. The, uh, your guys' you know, or the, the deluxe knuckles, that, that's something that has existed for quite some time, but that was always one of those products that needed a little bit of polishing. Mm -hmm. um, and was, was once you guys had, you know, taken over things like that, it is great to see that that did, did get accomplished and, uh, you know, continued and the, more options for more cars, that same style. Yep. Yep. And even like the C hubs, there were things that kind of saw on them that could be improved. So like now we have like the ones with pegs where you don't need the knuckleball and everything, and they're just way smoother, way more consistent, machined to a lot higher tolerance. Gotcha. So what are you guys driving personally the most? What area, what type, you know, what trucks? Um, well, I drive my class two, class three. I drive an SE and then I have a uh scx 10 pro with air 44s on it just like a parts truck class three those are what i drive the most and then probably my 24th scale as well yeah 24 scales i, I do <laughs> uh i do enjoy competing with those as well what uh what do you run for bodies on your class two class three stuff are you fully pointed out hard body type stuff oh no there's like <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't play that game. <laughs> okay. uh, you know, I I proper points for doing Crawlapalooza were on them, and they're just kind of still on now. Crawlapalooza is pretty like minimal as far as what they require, right? Oh yeah, it it's like ten points or something like that. So it's like okay. I have some sticks and like a little head roll <laughs> zip tied in there, and uh, a roof rack and. We're good to go. So. Just just some bare minimums. Yeah. <laughs> so what about you, Chris? Uh, well, I tend to do more of the racing stuff. Uh, that's kind oh, of okay. where I got my start in RC. So I'd start off doing 10 scale on road. And like I do off road buggy as well. Uh -huh. So that's where I spend a lot more of my time and money. But I've got yeah. um, a TRX4 axle based rig which drives jj and jason up a wall because they hate trx fours that's amazing <laughs> and i refuse to change it out just because it kind of annoys them so hey i love that that's uh, that's uh that's good office banter for sure but oh, yeah. even not being in the area you know especially coming from racing the that side helping with the the shocks i can see where that uh that would be incredibly helpful yeah so and that's where like a lot of the ideas for like some of the like piston redesign and everything kind mm -hmm. of stem from Sure. And then I actually worked with a buddy of mine um, that does suspension for, he used to do it for GM, now he's with Jeep. And so I kind of threw some ideas back and forth with him. He actually ran them through um, some simulations and yeah, everything kind of checked out. So did some tests when they were actually in, down in Oklahoma and threw them at Jason when he came back and he ran <laughs> with it. So. Now, do you, do either of you ever have to, have to or get to whatever you want to say uh work with the full-size stuff at work no <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> no we we both have money pit cars though ah multiple. yeah multiple. <laughs> yeah that's that's what, actually what? how we met we were friends actually before i started working at deluxe or he uh -huh. did we've been friends for 15 years yeah, yeah. something like that we what, what are the uh, project cars are they I, uh, Jeep XJs? Or either of them Jeep XJs. <laughs> he has an XJ. My wife drives an XJ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, no, I have a uh, I have a 99 Miata that's like a track day car. Okay. And then I have, last fall, I picked up a 96 Nissan 240, and that'll be the drifting car. So. Okay. Nice. I've that's got up. my IS300, which I'm still toying with the idea of turboing. Hopefully, wife isn't still in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> and then i've got a 94 sti that's like full jdm swap fully built that uh i just haven't wrapped up for years now so, <laughs> and then just, eventually i'll modify my gti which is my daily driver okay yeah so some fun cars yeah I like it nice. yeah, car guys first <laughs> good, co good collections too <laughs> the uh the drifting side 
Sounds like a lot of fun, that 240 project. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been doing drifting stuff for like 10, 12 years and kind of took a step away and recently got back into it with the Miata and decided I should have a dedicated car for it. So picked it yeah. up. Yeah, that that sounds like a, you know, I, I could see it. the the Miata scene around here, of course, is quite large. You'll run into the oh, yeah. they have a they have meets here every Monday and car meets in California are just massive for just anything. Whatever they are, they're they're huge and they're super annoying. But no, <laughs> <laughs> no, they're actually pretty odd. The, the Miata, what we fam at, at the office, he's got uh, a couple Miatas. So he would go to those on occasion. We'd see the the shots from them, just a sea of Miatas in parking lots. Just <laughs> where are all of these guys coming from? Just all over. They go, still only take up like ten parking spaces. Right. <laughs> and then you know they'll go on some of those drives. He's like, man, keeping up with these guys and these mountain roads and these Miatas is is not easy. Yeah, they're they're, uh, they're momentum cars. Once they get going, once they get up to speed, they can stay there. <laughs> yeah. But you just got to get there. So yeah, eventually. Here's a good question out of the chat. Uh, what deluxe trans would be the best for a moon buggy chassis with cap or axles? Portal trans. Yeah, that would be that would be the it's such a compact default thing. answer, but it's small, it's compact, it's lightweight. It's yeah, it's the answer for a reason. Yeah, that's that I I get it. I think I've got two of those. Well, I've got one in my sporty and one in a moon buggy, which is up there. But it is nice for, especially for room for interiors or whatever you're trying to do. Yeah. Now, yeah. on the uh, the portal trans stuff like that, are you guys mainly recommending the outrunner stuff for people, or are yeah. you in that's... general like revolvers? Um, a lot of guys that were able to pick them up before they sold out have really been like in the stubbies that we brought out with home. So, yep. How much of the electronics are you guys carrying in house? We carry a ton of Holmes motors. Mm -hmm. um, so some, a ton, though. <laughs> yeah. It's tough uh, to keep them in stock sometimes. Most of them are the Outrunners, but we do carry some of the uh, brushed polar motors. Um, and we... Oh, yeah. Like uh, the, the 400 size yeah. or the... Yeah, polar yeah. 400s. I yeah. think 14 turn and 16 turn we stock both of. Yeah. So if you buy, like, one of the kit asylums, like, that's what we put on the, um, the portal transmission. So you, oh, you're gotcha. not stuck only running an outrunner with one of those. You can run a full Polar 400 size motor on those things too. I don't even remember what I put on. <laughs> 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 I think I, I talked with Matt about it and whatever he had suggested at the time. And then I think I had just called John and told him whatever I needed and, and went that route. But yeah, it was... <laughs> <laughs> I have to go look now. Uh, Tom, I saw that Jason Bergmeier and Matt Beast are coming out to press cutters on the next weekend. Anyone else coming? I think it's just those two guys. Yeah, I, um, I don't think JJ's heading out there. JJ, I think, wanted to go, but I think he ended up on a waiting list. I know I know, registration filled up fast for that one. What Prescott, that's not uh, Overland X, but what is it? Or, it's the same. Oh, Arizona Black Shootout. Shootout. Yeah, I think it's Arizona Shootout. Arizona shootout. Oh, gotcha for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arizona summer shootout. Yep. Yes, that one's been going on for quite a while. That that event. So that's uh, that's pretty rad. The uh, let's see, three eighty motors baller says. Uh, I have a nod to <laughs> TRX four axles. It has all the gear reduction, and it's awesome. <laughs> the nod to okay. The portal run us through your, you know, big picture of the the transmission breakdowns yep so there's the portal transmission and that's for portal axles uh oh. so three to one uh production and then the nod is a no overdrive transmission and that's for straight axles and that's a it's a four to one reduction yeah thereabouts roughly um and then there's the od3 if you're counting there's original two and three um and that is the overdrive transmission, um, which gives you, is it 18% underdrive, yeah. I believe, to the rear? So, I think Beast might have even said the exact amount, but yeah. Okay. You're underdriving the rear on that one. Yeah. And then we so, do still have hamburgers, um, cheeseburgers, hamburger, like, cheeseburgers. the sliders. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, those had been around for 
those have been around for quite some time. Um, what is the difference between those and the one, two, and three, basically, you have now? Those are going to be the more old school, like three gear kind of style, bigger, a lot like larger physically. So mm -hmm. a lot of guys are just kind of moving away from them just because there's so much more weight and size involved with them. The advantage of the cheese is that it has a counter rotating output shaft. So if yeah. you want to run a mullet, it's still a good choice for that. Super, a super easy version if you want to run the mullet. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that that was always that was something I, I do remember with, with those, but I didn't know if there was any other differences between them other than, you know, you guys do have the machined housings now in yep. those other transmissions versus the, the plate and standoff style. That Which the, we have two now with the ultralights, the ultralight portals, ultralight NOD, because it was something people really wanted. They wanted just to try and drop as much weight as possible. So gotcha. Yeah, that's too. Got you. Um, I don't know if I've, maybe I haven't seen those as much yet. Um, probably just overlooked them or, you know, didn't necessarily notice, but yeah. So you can <laughs> get the, those. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's how it goes, you know, that's <laughs> um, the, so the cheeseburger would be ideal for a mold. Yeah. It would just, it sounds like, I mean, save you from having to flip a ring and pinion or, uh, you know, get a reverse cut gear set or anything like that. It would basically make things a, a bolt in type situation. Yeah. And depending on what you're doing for axle, some are easier than others to, make that swap so yeah absolutely and you know depending on what your does it have any overdrive with the reverse rotation on the cheeseburger no, i don't think so okay so then yeah it makes it <laughs> you don't move a lot of them anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know that's how that goes so that that makes sense you know going with the newer stuff and just continue to move move that stuff around or you know move through come out with new products it's it's always been. now now i want five guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> hamburger cheeseburger and we always want to keep that stuff around so we have like legacy support and for guys that want to run it it's still an option it's just we have so many other options now that people tend to prefer so yeah you know and as things go sometimes it's just uh what other people see people running more often and that just becomes the the way or you know people design around Oh yeah. You know, a, a skid plate pattern or things like that. The, yeah. I know that the portal, it's a two bolt, yep. yep. two bolt to it. Are, are the NOD and the three, whatever those <laughs> is, is it, are they at the same type of pattern or no. the same pattern? No, the different portal are going to be in line. The NOD are going to be yeah. offset. And so, but like okay. fish makes skids, flat skids for both and 70 and 78 millimeter. We stock both. Um, we have skids for like power chassis and stuff where it's kind of more of a Fargo style where it incorporates into the skid a little bit more. So then you can get a little bit even lower LCG. Nice. Now, as far as the, the manufacturing in-house stuff like that, are you guys involved with that or? Yeah, we all you guys, kind of you guys have operators for it or something like that. I know like, I think you guys have added some, or you have had for some time CNC in-house. Or is it a lot of it's through like Iron Rock itself? Yeah. Okay. So. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. Like a lot of the plates and stuff, um, a lot of the carbon, um, like the G10 stuff. A lot of that we do like in our location with our router. Okay. So, yeah, that's a uh, that's a fun job to get and clean and work around. Well, yeah, you know, <laughs> listen to the vacuum for hours a day and yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, the router going just yeah. <laughs> I've yeah, I've got mine in the garage, of course, and yeah, Nicole can always tell when I've got a project going. <laughs> it's fine, but it's one of those things too. Like it allows us to start working on new stuff a lot quicker. So, like this is one of the things that's not officially out yet, uh, but this is a new mini that we're doing. That basically looks like the same 10 scale body I got with the uh, sporty. <laughs> For it's now, a yeah. Danger, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that one's got a newer, we're calling it the OD4 transmission. Okay. And this is a uh, mini, not mini. micro. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Yep. Yeah. It's a mini class. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I almost yeah. forget that that class exists sometimes. <laughs> and there's That's, some new stuff like, you know, like 
some axles that haven't yeah. been seen before. <laughs> yeah, some super, super, the gear set in that size wise, is it closer to AR44 size or like the uh, MRC or whatever they are now? It is a AR44 gear set that's in these. Yeah. Um, nice. It's based off our DX44 housing. So, okay, great. And then just size that. So, use the tubes. You've got uh, yep. C hubs on there that are custom to that size, or yep. Yep. that's very cool. And yeah. these axles will eventually be um, kind of like a call it a choose your own adventure. So, you can actually dial in the width that you want to run. So, if you want to run something really narrow, you can. Mm -hmm. If you want to run something really wide, you can. You can stagger them, you right. kind of build it out how you want. Now, the, the mini stuff, a lot of guys may not may not be familiar with those at all here uh it was like back when we used to compete with the robots as we matt <laughs> keeps calling them on this channel uh we had three classes that you that we competed with every weekend the most popular size was the you know 2.2 basically which was like this which became you know moa dominated since 2008 basically um and then we had supers and minis um, and minis started around 2009 because the uh, the low C MRC came out in September 2008 and that then became a class. So, you know, when we wanted to go to these big events and compete for, you know, overalls or things like that, we had to carry one of these, a massive super, which you guys sell a bunch of parts for. Oh, we yeah. still sell supers, yeah. <laughs> and then these little minis, which had nicknames that were not so pleasant, commonly referred to as the piss ant class. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> we all had them. None of us, we all just tolerated them. There were some guys that just loved them, though. And having some, some nicer parts support like that probably would have been a lot nicer. We were having to run these low C axles with terrible steering and <laughs> just they were the worst yeah with those i assume the steering and all that is is pretty wild oh yeah it's uh yeah it's pretty good so not too shabby <laughs> what are those tires uh these are rc four-wheel drive bully comps bully we, com it's their uh their pins that we kind of have like all of them on the market right now <laughs> <laughs> that, do they they make them that size for that class yeah mm -hmm. yep. huh. interesting i didn't know that i, I mean i evidently again the, the mini class and i don't necessarily see that as <laughs> much <laughs> yeah i mean we still offer supers and we've got 24 scale that we offer and everything so we yeah i mean we i've seen you guys release 24 scale axles for a number like the axle shafts for yep. a number of different people's cars um we've got chassis and everything now too and soon there'll be transmissions and oh nice we're covering all the bases very cool. yeah that's that's i mean you know the the axle shafts you guys were offering for like the super eights i've got the super eights in one of my car um and there's a guy locally who had one and he upgraded to your guys' shafts a lot better angle and I would imagine better strength at the same time. Yeah, a lot more durable. That's why a lot of guys end up switching to them. And then it's like, if you're willing to modify the axle housings too, you can really just maximize the steering angle on those things. Yeah, which sounds like a, I mean, I'll just, I just need to pick those up because watching him with that, I was like, oh, well, that's because I switched to some axles from a company called like OGRC, I think, because they had universals, mm -hmm. which I liked better than the, the other ones those and then you know you guys are offering them now for do you guys offer them for the ogrc's are like they, five? no we got we have a plus, plus four eight. and yeah. plus eight so the and Indra stock and, stock and uh, super eights yeah like the stocks work really well in like the trail housings because they're already kind of like hogged out so you can really uh -huh. maximize especially like with the knuckles that should be coming out soonish <laughs> as soon as jason's <laughs> ready to let them go <laughs> Uh, with those knuckles, even with like the trail housings on a stock housing, it's nuts. The steering angle you can get out of them. Yeah, yeah, which is impress. I mean, it's that's such a huge thing for the one twenty. Like a stock one twenty four scale is pretty miserable to drive. <laughs> it is not fun. Like he loves them. I yeah, hate I driving all the stupid time. things. Yeah, <laughs> I love competing with them. Like I, I really enjoy competing with because you can make them 
feel kind of like a tenth scale. Yeah. And then they're fun. Just stock. They are not fun. No, they're kind of turds out of the box. I mean, I like building small stuff, you know, like goat guns. Hey, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't like working on 24 scale. I hate those little screws. <laughs> I do not like working on 124 scale. I only like competing. But he always offers to build mine for me because I hate doing it. Oh, yeah. That's a yeah, that's nice to have around. <laughs> Josh, make the Vizmix. I'll make it happen. Mainly just come hang out with you, Ryan. But also we can go over there and bug those guys. I mean, uh, you guys could just come over to our place. Ryan does yeah. anyways for like King of oh. Hammers and everything. We have viewing parties and that's what I hear. You know, he was talking about that. I, I talked to Ryan pretty regularly still. <laughs> So there's always something going on. Uh, so who does all the computer stuff over there? STL Sunday. So, so like, yeah, who is your, who's CAD? Who's uh, design world? Mostly Jason. Yep. Jason. Yeah. yeah. So that's, uh, I mean, it's just, again, it's one of those things that it was nice to see that that business did what it did after the the acquisition. Well, and it helps too that he's like one of the lead designers for Iron Rock. So a lot of that kind of like skill set and knowledge set really translates well so. sure and yeah so that was uh you know it's nice to see things that are that improve and continue on over time you know it's not always uh it's i would say it's the exception to how most of the time it seems that stuff happens yeah but we've all seen many acquisitions in the rc world that don't go the same way we hope they would yeah, you know, like like I said, coming from 10 scale on road, uh, mm -hmm. I was a huge HPI person my entire yeah. life. And that was like, you know, I kind of stepped away from the hobby for a bit and came back. And it's like, oh, I, that happened. Where, where's <laughs> all of the stuff I like? Yeah. Right. yeah. That, so what else? You guys have anything else there you'd like to, to talk about specifically? You're hiding in front of you? <laughs> 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 How how many Pokeball or Pokemon assorted things can you count in front of you right now? Not Three. counting your hat. <laughs> uh, how many Pokemon things are in this room? A lot. Yeah, uh, quite a few. But it's this is this is Chris's house, not mine. <laughs> oh God. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, geez. that's his. That's his. That's how many. <laughs> I had to hook him up with some cards. Um, <laughs> In the Pokeball, however, yeah. we have a new um, oh PSC. Gotcha. So another. Uh, um, this is not the suppressor. This is going to be a more entry level kind yep. of option. So instead okay. of the suppressor and the price that that kind of carries and the features it carries, this is a little bit more stripped down, a little bit more. Yep. Kind of what you need. We have them. They'll be coming with XT thirties. I think there's a handful with XT sixties. There's uh, even a few Deans, I think, available. Yeah, and then they have a... Uh... <laughs> hey, dude, I use Deans. Come on. I tried uh, to talk them into doing some Tamiya plugs just so Matt can run them. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're already set up for direct power servos as well. Oh, that's super nice. Yep. Um, we'll now also coming is... with the programmers, which... Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, now, is that AM32 or Escape32 yeah. or... AM32. AM32, AM32. okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not. I don't really, really know the difference between AM32 and Escape32. I just see those two options a lot. So, the uh, that's the, JJ's thing. <laughs> yeah, JJ is kind of the the wizard when it comes to this stuff. He's way more versed in it than I am. But. Mo's the 24 scale expert. I tend to help a lot with like the shock tuning and that kind of stuff, and kind yeah. of diving in all the new stuff that we're doing with those. Gotcha. Now, have either of you uh, worked? in the rc industry previously no no nope. <laughs> i've been in the cnc world uh -huh. um i've worked plastics for better part of 10 years uh firearms industry for quite a while so yeah that's uh what what's your uh, background beforehand i uh i did vinyl wrapping so i started a vinyl design business and uh -huh. <laughs> toxic you said <laughs> <up a> failure. <laughs> uh yeah and still still do that stuff but do full-time at deluxe got oh got you so you still uh, a lot of us you know hard to hard to stop doing things when you even when you're done with work right yep. <sighs> oh yeah it's you know work come home make stickers and so you're the reason that when i get an order that there's 10 colors of deluxe sticker included 
There's only <laughs> one in there. Oh. <laughs> No, uh, it's totally not a conflict of interest that he and his wife make the sticker for the company or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's that's how I knew about Deluxe's. Um, I was making their stickers for them before I started working there. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. Hey, you know, you do good business and those opportunities pop up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Flying cars. Oh, you know, I've seen it. I comment on it all the time. <laughs> Nothing on the other <laughs> side. We're, He's the true of this stream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's been telling well, me for days now that I have to watch it. And, yeah. Well, we'll have to make it happen so that next time we can have you guys on and you guys can make Matt's eyes glaze over as we talk about pomp stuff all <laughs> the entire stream. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Oh, we can make a miserable for him. He's oh. I, he's already been replaced as my favorite Canadian streamer anyway. So, <laughs> Who is your favorite Canadian streamer? Oh, Meg August. Now my wife's getting mad in the chat. I have to look her up. <laughs> it's worth a check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I assume so. Uh, we have similar tastes and, you know, but the uh, Zod, <laughs> will they buy Novak and bring it back? <laughs> I think you could probably get it for like 12 to 15 bucks. So. I mean, if you talk Jason into doing that, we're definitely bringing back the rooster, you see. Oh, yes. So that was uh, the super rooster was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The Off topic, though. Uh, I gave Nicole one of, the one of my logins for YouTube Premium, which was a mistake. But now she is all in on YouTube uh, being like the source for entertainment and she's she, uh, it's good because she understands this world so much better now and see my like, wife was all about watching youtube and now she's like i introduced her unfortunately to whatnot and so she just she's been spending all sorts of time on that. oh man <laughs> brutal <laughs> josh doth good luck with that one <laughs> so <laughs> Nicole, I can send her a text and then she'll respond. I'll send another one and she just. <laughs> we were, I was home. We were having a conversation. She had her phone in her hand and then all of a sudden, somehow she left it in the garage. It's like we were in the garage for 30 seconds. How did you. <laughs> Gone. My it's wife just texted me, hey, I'm on whatnot now. Not cool. <laughs> 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 yes, I hear that that's uh, big for the collectible industry. Yeah. So, <laughs> that I mean, makes... if you get Nicole into that, then you can just like pick up a sim rig. Oh. You know, just kind of product placement for you. I know. <laughs> Do it. I know. I need, it. <laughs> I need it so bad. <laughs> so bad. Just. <laughs> we figured we'd poke the bear just that little bit. Yeah, I know. I just. Oh. Looks so much fun. Oh, it is. Especially if you I, do like a VR headset. Besides, you get pretty immersed pretty quick. See, the only way that I could do it is somehow turn it into something that's streamable. Streamable. Oh, you can. Like, yeah, except when you're streaming, it, like with the live with the VR headset, you just you just look. <laughs> you're, it doesn't <laughs> look the <laughs> same <laughs> as. <laughs> see but as viewers we'll still laugh if you're like yeah. if you're playing uh what's the game that you and matt used to stream here and there uh, uh beam beam oh, and yeah oh, like if, if you're streaming and pushing matt off a cliff again yeah i'm still gonna watch still gonna laugh <laughs> so so good nicole says unfriend chris <laughs> <laughs> button to push a little slide show for you guys uh all right what else do we have going on over at deluxe that we can uh, go through here the uh i guess that where do you see or where, i guess where do you guys get pushed the most in the market is it the the scale comp side now or is it the full robots or is it is it so equally split it's that it's hard to say so equally split like Especially if you just think like just shocks alone. We get so mm -hmm. many guys buying them specifically for comp use. We get a lot of guys buying them for like trail trucks and then anything and everything in between. Sure. That, I mean, 
that and that makes and that's good too that you know it's not all everything on on one side it helps yeah. keep some development going for those other areas it keeps so it fresh like, for us too like if we're building nessies one day and lunatics or mercenaries another it's it's not as redundant then yeah that i mean i can i can see that for sure which is which is awesome the uh the comp crawling world the you know non scale comp has has been around for a long time but hasn't necessarily been the the spotlight for quite a while so yeah. keeping it going is there's not a lot of other brands that are really keeping that side moving in a focused way yeah. not that a lot of parts can't be utilized in multiple ways but like it, it's even full axles specifically is there well rc pro drive the bully too that's is that, are those still available that's uh, still a thing i think you can still get them. i think technically you can yeah yeah yeah. Um, every once in a while you'll see someone <laughs> yeah every once in a while you'll see someone like post up like like is this a good choice and yeah. like the like the bully to rtr no and and most <laughs> of the guys like even a lot of the guys are running stuff like that if they want to play like the moa game they'll buy super lights yeah. right yeah. and then you can build whatever you want from there if you other unless you you know want the full the full rig but, yeah, and yeah. I mean it's just such a better option, anyways. They're they're way more high clearance. The transmissions yeah. built onto them are way better. I mean, there's really besides cost, there's really no reason not to. So yeah, they're they're super impressive axles. I, you know, they're not cheap, but they are wildly cool, and they're a lot cheaper than it was to build our Bergs back in the day with, you know. $300 cases and $150 gear sets and then tubes that we had to buy for another hundred dollars per axle and axle shafts that were 150 bucks. And you'd have, you'd have a crazy amount of money and you had to piece everything together and file it to fit. And then I'll it preach was, to the choir. Yeah. Oh. I'm, we're both into all the expensive hobbies too. So like, I know like on some of your vanquish streams I've hopped on and like, chat with jim a little bit mm -hmm. i come from the paintball world like i played competitive paintball for a long time and i worked in that industry so like i don't know it's all kind of the same similar thing to me at least so. yeah it, you know every we're all the same we all yeah. spend stupid money at a different yeah. place at a different time all of our wives are equally pissed off oh, it's yeah. fine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you get over it. uh well i appreciate you guys a ton for it well for one montana reaching out first being like, hey why don't you just like, like that's a great idea and and matt is here so this is it's the perfect timing so <laughs> i appreciate uh you guys for joining matt is here to say oh, hello Matthew, matt we've hello. been talking about robots hello, the whole time uh, i figured as much i looked at the views <laughs> <laughs> oh see he's already talking trash but i gave him a brilliant idea earlier for only fans <laughs> yeah that's that's true yeah how are you guys pleasure to meet you both virtually yeah, is that we get a racing seat behind you there yeah it's a sim rig uh, you know kind of yeah. lure josh yeah. into the dark side a little bit oh god don't <laughs> even get me started i was in a i was in a real sim rig today that's not how that works Matt. <laughs> <laughs> well, the you can't crash as easily in that one <laughs> oh man, my shoulders are destroyed. Oh. We'll talk about that later, but uh, I'm sorry I missed all the girls fun. Feature this week. All right. None. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I better end that poll before Matt says anything. End poll. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it really? Ooh, it is 50% to 49%. Oh, that's so that what? What was the poll? I didn't even see it. Did Matt yeah. make the fast group? Traditionally, Did I voted go... with zero knowledge. <laughs> I was having a hard time deciding which Albon he was going to be this week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I was good. At, well, you know what? I won't spoil it. We'll wait until no. later. Yeah. Much appreciation That's to you guys for joining. Well. And yeah. uh, we'll have you on again. Yeah, for sure. We're sure. game. Come back anytime. Anytime Matt's gone. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I need a nap. <laughs> Later, guys. All right. Have a good one. <laughs> Take care, guys. <laughs> well, hello there. Hello. How are you? Welcome to the Scale Builders Guild. 
Yes. Thanks for watching. Check in where you're watching. <laughs> what did Caleb I miss? Told, uh, why does my carbon front diff sit to one side more? Um, if you're it's carbon, you built your links. You got to make sure that they're exactly equal length, especially in the uppers, since you can't tell. Hold them next to each other off of the truck and make sure they're exactly the same eye to eye length. You can do the same with the lower. Um, or if you did a CMS change, then it's uh, then it's going to because it's going to cycle. So it depends on your setup. But if it's just box stock, take the upper links and lower links off and make sure when you set them side to side, they're exactly the same eye to eye. So there you go. Or throw them in the garbage. Or you're off center. Oh. Fix, fix the other your other way. There you go. There we go. How are you? Not too bad. How are you? Man, so good. So good. So good. Yeah, good day today. Um, work has been busy, which is really, really nice. I feel uh, I feel good about I work like, again. I like money. I like money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's good news. Uh, yeah, I know we've both been busy. We have not been yeah. as chatty lately. Oy. Your, uh, your truck you can is in the mail. My truck is here. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. It's right down there. What? This, You know how I know Josh is actually busy? He doesn't read any of my goddamn messages. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> doesn't read a goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was as surprised as you are. Wow. It showed up today. Now, I wasn't home when it showed up, but it showed up nonetheless. I had to pay the duty. Oh, what did. <laughs> well, I don't there's always in the slightest. <laughs> there's always duty on my package. So, um, not too bad, though. Not too bad. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Oh. Ah, ah, a pittance, if had, really. If I had your money, I'd throw mine away. Um, <laughs> Carson Jan, thank you very much. I'm having a hard time figuring out the incision lights. Uh, can you control them from the transmitter or just the switch? You can, but you have to put the switch on the board in the correct position, and then you can control it from the transmitter. So the switch position there is what will allow you to control it from the transmitter. So, uh, I, didn't I haven't tell updated you. that sign, by the way, behind me. I didn't tell you, uh, but I sent you the second chassis. Oh, really? The yeah. first one was better. No, the second one is better. But pray tell Almost. why. Uh, so, I did a cleaner job on the second one. I did. Um, well, you didn't have to give me that one. I'm happy well, to have the fouled one. Yeah, but I would have had to take it apart was one. <laughs> yeah, so it's more of a laziness as a like, quality on this uh, one. <laughs> and I, take, I took them both into work and I was just like, now nah, taking this to Dan, ship this, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's the better one. Also, I will say there was one specific tube on the chassis. That was pissing me off so bad to look at. Uh -oh. I was like, nope, uh -huh. sending it to Matt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, he came I inside and said the second one was better. See, exactly. I believe it. Um, and if it makes uh, you feel any better, I think Tom is spending extra special time on your grill. So you'll get yours a day later than everybody else. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I, yeah. Literally, not, there's no, you don't have any projects for that body right now, anyway. No, or will, time it will make, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why I was like, I'm gonna move myself to the bottom of the list. <laughs> yeah, like, fine, <laughs> I don't need that right now. <laughs> yeah. I want it, yeah, but I exactly. I do too. Looking at those photos, I'm just like, oh, suga, oh, it's so good. The carbon fiber, so good. Suga. oh, it's so, so good. Excellent. Um, it's I so choice. I highly recommend it if you have the means. <laughs> uh, I already did my mail call. So do you have mail call to do? Cheers. I do. Let me do it real quick. Cheers. Cheers to cheers to beers. All right. 
First of all, let me be crispy clear. I'm late tonight, later than usual, because they're giving the carts more time to charge in between our heats. Really? Yeah, because I guess somebody, off, huh? somebody complained. <laughs> I don't know who. So this is from Jacob Marks in Clarkdale, AZ. That's Arizona. He he lives Near at Scottsdale. oh hey oh well Scottsdale, huh? mm. but not in Scottsdale. <laughs> it's got a it's got Scottsdale School District. Yeah. Matt, thank you for all your great content. Hope you enjoy, Jacob. Uh, I do very much enjoy Volvos. Thank you very much. I do like this one a lot. And Volvo two forty. Oh yes. Yes. Uh, I forgot the Hot Wheels that I received this week at the office, and I apologize because they were good ones. The yellow Gran Turismo Porsche Ooh. and a C6 Corvette from 2011. So oh, I also got a Porsche, but I forgot it in the display case. There you go. Okay. Hey. <laughs> yeah, big old blue box. <laughs> Love it. Uh, and then, crikey, mate, all the way from Australia. How many didgeridoos are in here? Um, this is, uh, you know what this is, right? From Australia, mate? What? Should I? You should. Do you get your shocks already? Yes. God. <laughs> I've got my whole chassis and my shocks now. This I'm virtually done. <laughs> Pricey's Custom Crawlers. Ooh, tax invoice. What is the deal with shocks these days? These are nice. Um, so that's another. Oh, thing that look I at this! Got. They've got them. Look at how he labels these. These are all oh, ready to wow. go, mate. Oh, so when we worked through all the details on this, we I told him what your axle setup was going to be, what the truck, little bit of bumps, little bit of bump travel. Oh, so they're not a hundred percent full droop. Still a we little like. bit up, which is perfect. Um. That's I chose your nice. colors for you. And uh, yeah. That's nice. These are nice shocks. Yeah. So these are ready to go. I don't have to do anything. Bolt them on. Now, the one Just thing I don't know. It, stick it. See you later. Bye. Is it how they're going to fit in the shock mount as far as width goes. You may have to space them. I spaced them for SADs because that's how I designed and built it to start. All right. Um, they so. might be good. I think they might be okay. You might have to space. I'm not sure. Mine are, they're an eight millimeter spacing, and I did a way better job on yours because I added a little washer so they had the proper amount of. Oh, also, okay. include some lower shock spacers. Spacers. This is a nice little operation. Is yeah. his name is um, Steve Price. Steve Price. It's not. It's not that they're expensive. Well, I mean, they're <laughs> not not expensive, but <laughs> yeah, they're not. They're not cheap. But they're not cheap, mate. But you know, when they're handmade in Australia. The, the buyer experience was nice. It was nice to work he was, with him. He seemed lovely. I got an yes. invoice and everything. Now, the pièce de résistance, packed by Dan himself. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow. Dude, I worked so hard on this. Look <laughs> at <laughs> this thing. This is incredible, Josh. You are so, a madman. Yep, I think it will uh, It'll turn out pretty good. I'm pretty sure I forgot your motor plate now that I look at it. No big deal. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that little guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is not in the box. That's okay. <laughs> there will be other things. No, nope, that's fine. Uh, this side's a little nice. That's the fucking Perfect. tube right there. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, just, I'm so glad I was able to pick that out right away. I know. Oh, I hate <laughs> it so much. Uh, what this is, is really good. It is uh, um, 0.95 pounds. It's light. So it could be lighter. It looks there's so there's good. like how I do the body tabs and all that to make it easy for people. It could yeah. absolutely be lighter, but. No, but that's I'm stealing this idea for the yeah. F toy. It makes it so easy. And oh man, you really I'm, knocked it out of the park. First of all, uh, most interested in making sure it looks good. 
<laughs> yeah, always. So, always. Um, That's the most important thing here, guys. Looks yeah. first, performance. Yeah. Not if even it, second. If it does, yeah, like if it doesn't look good on the internet, it doesn't even count. Like, it, what's the point? Okay, so you are gonna have to space. Yep, you're gonna. That's need okay. A, I one I have spacers. Space. Yep, absolutely. I have lots of That's those. Fun. That looks so friggin' good, but it doesn't look as good as this. There is the mock-up C, not C1. Yep. 1.9 Pro Mod. 1.9 Pro Mod. And you'll see I've added some sliders. I've oh, gotcha. 3D printed sliders there, you see. Now, is that going to be integrated? You've started on some tube design. Yes, I have. Uh, in Fusion. And um, they will just go outside of that okay. quite perfectly. And I measured these to make sure I could put a battery on there. Using my noodle. Not just a hat rack. No, but look at how crazy. <laughs> this is kind of comical how small this is mm -hmm. in comparison to how gigantic this is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> how am yeah. I going to get a man in here? Oh, I see. Oh, I've designed it specifically for it. Yes. And then you will attach your own head. Oh, you know I will. Yep. I've got them all ready to go. There so, he is. Exactly. And you can... Oh, but I should be wearing a helmet. Ah, I wouldn't worry about that. Well, we'll see. Maybe I can come Bonus up with a helmet. helmet. I can come up with a helmet you can scale over top of it. This is so nice, Josh. This is really cool, man. So, Thank you. Yeah. I no say problem. begrudgingly. <laughs> God, I hate it when he does good stuff. <laughs> hate hate having to say that to him. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Helmets are highly encouraged. I'm, I'm I, I yeah. may have to have Nicole scan my face. Which you can I scanned my own face. Did you? Yeah. And that's why it came out like that though. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> All right. So, what are you going to send me next? Because uh, I, I got a lot to do on this here, and uh, you do have a lot of I have files. Not been following the Discord. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, don't worry. There's not much you need from in there yet. Um, Okie dokie. So you're going to have to, you know, start it. I'll have uh, link links and all of that for you. Um, I'll have, you've got the shocks already, you son of a, um, it's weird jacks. that, well, no, it makes sense, I guess. Cause they, they'd come from, no, they'd come from the other direction. Probably might've been in LA for a few days. So I was hoping uh, that they'd be in today, but whatever, it's whatever. It's fine. Um, whatever. So yeah, you're going to have to get your act, start working on your axles, those type of things. Get your, what axles things. are you running there? F10s portals. That's what you need. Hmm. I of course have aluminum on there. Not necessary, but uh oh, do so I have get to steal them off yeah. of my stance, for example. Yes. You do want four-wheel steer. I can steal them off my stance and my uh yeah. F V VS410 Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you're going to take that transmission anyway. So, yeah, uh, yeah, that one needs to be rebuilt. So, don't forget yeah. to do that. Yes, it's so um, sick. So sick. It actually does come out. It comes out good. So it's 13 and a half inch wheelbase. Um, mm -hmm. Links. I'll be able to just give you part numbers for. It'll be easy. You know, it's great because it's metal. I can go drive this and practice a whole bunch. Oh sure. No problem. Like you'll have oh, because you'll have it done way in advance. Oh, totally. I'll be finishing it on the plane. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys don't mind if I do a little brazing, do you? <laughs> <laughs> now you are gonna have to braze something on that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can. So, I know how to braze. I know. I'm just saying. Uh, but once we get, I'm putting a deadline at a certain point at the uh, build along. And anyone who has got theirs completed by that deadline, which is likely going to be our event or maybe like a week before or something like that. Uh, yeah. I'll go in the order of the orders. 
people got in. And I'm going to make uh, little VIN tags for people. Brazen. Uh, cute. Yep. There you go. And you're going to have to put it on there. Yeah. So I think I think they're just going to go underneath of this. The roof cover will cover it, and you'll be able to see underneath. But super simple. That's pretty cool, though. So, yep. Good work, it'll be, Josh. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. They said. <laughs> It'll only, it'll only be a little bit of brazing. Yeah, they said. <laughs> but no problem. you've got a. I'll have like I told you before, panel templates and things like that, so you can get started. Mm -hmm. um, panels are gonna be pretty simple. The hood, I'll either I'll give you a template so that you can create your own style if you want to, you know, design one, do stamped or pressed. There's been some guys talking about that. Um, yeah. Carbon, also an option. Who knows? It's got to be metal. I have to make it metal for my ah, thing. For your theme. Yeah. Yes. That, I don't remember what it was, but it's going to be cool. <laughs> I kind of remember, but then you talked really about something today. You told, said something today. I was like, I don't remember that being part of this at all. But hmm. I'll get more details on that later. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. The, it, yeah, that's, I, I used the wrong word. Oh, okay. I'm still doing the thing. Oh, okay, good. I was just like, man, like this is I'm not doing that thing. Yeah, okay. I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay. I was like, after I read, I was like, hmm, that's not the right word. <laughs> I didn't even question thing. I'm just like, wow. Yeah, you're like, cool. All right. Good work. <laughs> I've dabbled Does a little bit. You know myself. how to do that. <laughs> 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 I don't so, think he knows what that word means. Yeah. I don't think you do. You keep using that word. I, do I don't think, think you know what that word means. I don't think it means what you think it means. Uh, <laughs> seven pounds is kind of hard to hit. So I know what you mean, but this one with the aluminum axles, as this sits, is 4.95. Um, oh, now, that's easy. That is no weight on the axles, no weight in the wheels, no two thirds of the way there. My motor or my transmission isn't totally complete, no servos. I think that I'll be able to hit seven pounds like I wasn't even trying because I was easy. And it's heavy. Squeezy. <laughs> Are you going to put lights on yours? No. Okay. Are you? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I not mean, now. Underglow would be cool, I guess. But that I thought like this that. would be a nice space for a uh, tail light. The only way I would put lights back light in there, little scrolling sign that said, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You tried that once already, and it was a huge failure. It did, did fail. Well, the, that whole project did mainly because of a global issue, but not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was my problem, it was not my fault. <laughs> well, I mean, there's no proof or evidence against that, though. So we don't know for sure. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Um, you know. Also, uh, I, think I a good did thing. get a super we were, not chat. Building, we were not building anything competitive. No, no, well, that's true for sure. Uh, <laughs> I did get a super chat at the very beginning while I was not here. Thank you, Pilot Ryan Media. Wheelie Yellow 23 posts, 225,000 followers started in November. Uh, I guess that's a comment based on something you guys talked about but yeah. you've Are, seen that instagram yeah just the last couple of days all of a sudden mm. i've seen it a bunch really oh yeah My pretty cool instagram pretty fun very different um i know lots more boobs <laughs> couldn't be less uh <laughs> notice how josh went from water to beer after matt showed up that is exactly true hell yeah uh, hey, did you see, I know it's not, well, actually it is RC related on one of the latest Cletus McFarland videos, the remote control full-size car. So I saw that yesterday, but I didn't get to watch it yet because, uh, Nicole and I were sitting on the couch and we were actually, we were watching some YouTube videos, but, uh, she was not, uh, that, that selection wasn't going to fly for her. I, I made her watch a super fast Matt video that he posted yesterday. Uh, the one on um, the the router the, or the yeah. uh, 3D. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she was just like, why am is, I watching this? Like, this is terrible. I was like, he's funny. She's like, he's funny. I like him. Is he? I was like, yeah. 
She's like, is he? Uh, I was like, no, he's an engineer. She goes, yeah. Is he what? Like, he's just so dry that she's just uh, like, right, right. Like, like no, like mm, okay, yeah. That's that's why it works. Oh, Nicole, what? he's a lot like me. I was, like, I was like, this is why you don't think I'm funny. She's like, that's not why. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, you are not funny. <laughs> is he? Is he? <laughs> yeah, this is it right here. Is he yeah. touched? <laughs> stop, Nicole. Stop it. Uh, yes, that the the Crown Vic was badass until he crashed it. So uh, I right. saw that. I saw that in the thumbnail, but I, I'm. I saw it was an hour video, and I'm, I'm excited to watch it. But I need to be, I need to sit. Maybe. I fast forwarded through much of it. I don't fast forward through his videos. I like his videos. I just wanted to see the RC stuff. Thomas, thank you very much. Boy, am I glad Josh is preoccupied with that buggy build because his Suga body is <laughs> <laughs> twenty-five thousand RPM plus cutoff wheel plus ham fist equals extra window. <laughs> That's what we call in the business a blem. Yeah. That's fine. As long as it's still number one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Literally, it could take you another multiple months, and it will still be fine. <laughs> I, I, and I'm 100% genuine in that. There is zero time frame on the mind. <laughs> yeah. This part of that video was quite funny. They made the signs wrong. It's, yes, so it's they factory freedom. Factory freedom. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most Florida shit ever. Like that is so Florida. Uh, <laughs> oh well. Like uh, oh yeah. Or, factory totally right. freedom, J concepts, same good enough. Just <laughs> <laughs> it got away uh, from me. Cut shuts. Uh, cut shuts. Yeah, uh, well, Wes, um, <laughs> I actually His name is Dogan. <laughs> I actually ordered uh, steel for another one of these today. Why are you building another one? Well, that I was going to run two classes. Remember? Oh, so you're building you're building another one, but exactly the same. That's my thought. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time, man. I had to build yours. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still have to build another one. <laughs> I know. So we're in a race. <laughs> Touched. So <laughs> can't laugh at that. That's not funny. Not funny, yeah. sir. All right. Um, yes. Hey, the wise one arrived. <laughs> he's talking. I think he's talking to you. <laughs> Not talking to me. Um, what's up with Josh starting an OnlyFans? Are you selling wheels, wheel pictures in the DMs or secret vanquish pictures? Um, no, he's selling pictures of his feet. Yeah. It's, but on an RC truck. Yeah. It, see? That's how it works. <laughs> I, uh, I put up a poll today asking if I should also start exclusive uh, behind-the-scenes membership-only content. And most people were like, no. Well, don't, yeah, don't do because that. it's not for most people. That's right. the thing. It's for I, the people you know, that I understand that. Friends, or who just want to support. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to do it. I just don't have the time to do it. It is to work to another thing. Um, I know. it's That's a true statement. But uh, I like to do, I like to talk very specifically about one thing that may be absolute, that would probably still bore the people that joined. But at least they're there to support <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I like to put my thoughts in video. Just circle of thoughts. There's no lot, there's no lineality to my thought. There's no end to the amount of you hearing your own voice that you appreciate. There's no beginning. There is no end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's more like a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I told him he has to make this YouTube worth it taking over my entire life. And YouTube doesn't pay great. <laughs> well, no, with his number of subscribers, it's certainly not as good. 
Yeah, exactly. You're welcome. One video a week. Not untrue. Three, though. <laughs> Three free videos a week. Three free videos a week. <laughs> Coming at you live from yeah. <laughs> I'm doing the build along, but love the process, hence the membership. Thank you very much. Yeah, it, right. it, it's cool. it is uh it is fun. The the build along yeah. stuff, man, is great. You would know if you were in the Discord more often, but I yeah, I'll go check it out. I skim through it every once in a while to see if there's anything funny happening, and it's mostly <laughs> not funny. It, no, it's mainly it's like just work. help and work and like, hey, what? And you're like, I didn't have to do any of that. Yeah, mine's <laughs> done, guys. <laughs> if you need any tips, reach out. <laughs> <laughs> I will <laughs> answer your questions <laughs> incorrectly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, it's <laughs> funny. Um, what else is going on? Uh, you see, Arma had a big portion of uh, Freedom Factory. Uh, I saw. Eh? I saw that they had a video specifically with it. Um, yeah. But I didn't. It was pretty cute, it, actually. It I really was, liked it. I didn't actually see the whole. Thing. I just saw their like Instagram video. Yeah, I think that's all there is. But it was really cute. Oh. Like oh, they okay. made it like the, the truck was the character. So the truck's on yeah. the plane, looking out the window. It was pretty cute. I was like, yeah, that's good. It's good. <laughs> uh yeah. What uh, tires what, are you planning? Yeah, that's uh, a good I'm question. running I'm running these, the Yokohamas. So they've oh, got yeah, you've got to be a branded tire, right? Well, yeah. I set I set up the Yokohamas already for the F toy. Gotcha. Um yeah, so they have Wait, to be a branded look tire. Look at those rings. Spaghetti. Uh <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's the uh, that's what I'm planning to run for this one. They're still the red compound, so they'll still do very well. We've competed with them, even they still do really well. So, are these four seven five right on the mark? Right on the mark. Um, <laughs> oh my god, dude! Uh, now I don't know what foam you put in there, but yes, they're right on the mark. I uh, put your foams in there. Idiot. There's also a very large number of trauma images in the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like broken fingers or missing uh, fingers. Well, no, like the like the one I started when I put up. I said, "How many of you have the same burn scar on your on your finger?" Which is like the mm. two, all yeah. of us, and it's just like, <laughs> or not me, guys. Blood it's done. It's perfect. And like. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even, I didn't even sweat a little bit making this. <laughs> the, the, the sad fact of the matter is, if I did this, like if this was reversed and I was building chassis for Josh, he would not accept them. They would show up and they'd be all like completely mangled and not built with any sort of cat in mind. <laughs> This, you're, you'll see. You're going to see what's going to happen. It's going to be masterful in how bad it is. <laughs> I'm doing all the design work, but it's like, I don't know how to translate that to actual work. I've done videos so, on this. I know, but... But what? What am I going to... I'm going to make the jigs? Now i got to make jigs? You, you know what? You don't even have to make the full jigs. Just make the jigs that are like to the inside shape so that you can tell that your bends are at least perfect. Uh, okay. And that things are going to line up. Okay. It, it, there's, you can just do a little bit of work and it will make things <laughs> so much easier. Uh, work is hard. <laughs> work is like more time. Uh, you're right. <laughs> it's the right thing to do. So, <sighs> yeah, we're, uh, they're going to start getting more and more things put inside of here real soon, though. I'm going to start knocking out. I have to make sure that I spend less time designing this motor than I did the Porsche motor because oh that be that became an issue. That, yeah, but it was so cool. It was very cool, but see, that's right. good Lord, there was too much work. I put too much work into that motor. We do need to get me taking. Yeah, we do. That would be fun. 
I'll highly consider it. Yeah, and it's so it's just like what you're doing already, but but what I'm looking at this here. I'm looking at like I've been watching a lot of TIG videos. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't look like that. This is TIG brazing. So so you're just plopping you're plopping wire in. It's just it's the same type of process as TIG welding. You have your yeah. torch, you know, and you get the video of it real up close. Uh -huh. But when you the wire that you're using, this it looks just like regular TIG wire, it's just a slightly different color, but uh -huh. it melts at a lower temperature, which is the difference right. between brazing and welding. So right. it just so you don't have to get the base metal, you know, molten where it all flows together and right. becomes one. You're just using right. that that filler, so that's why it's the different color. Oh, it's that bronze color. Okay, all right. Uh, so you're not really TIG welding. You're, you're not TIG welding. You're TIG brazing. Yeah, got but it. But it okay. it would look the exact same to an outsider. The process would be the same. Everything like that. Mm -hmm. It's just a little less heat required. I'm just not seeing a lot of dimes. Well, at this scale, that's also going to be very difficult. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> I don't care. I I paid for dimes. I expect dimes. Yeah, you paid about a dime. You're right. <laughs> you paid I think ten cents on the dollars is what you mean. Uh, <laughs> these are going to cost a thousand dollars. I would wow, not do I it again for a thousand dollars. No, you said you're going to do another one for me. Yeah, yeah, not for some. <laughs> not for some. Random YouTube idiot. Yeah. That's if someone me. offered me a thousand dollars to do another one, I would tell them no. How about a thousand and one? <laughs> I mean, there's a number for sure, <laughs> but in a thousand bucks. <laughs> you can go well. I'm very I'm very pleased. I don't made. even I don't even mind that one tube. Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's why you got that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> yeah. One thousand and two final offers. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh! It's ten forty eight. I feel like this show just started. Oh my god! Amazing. <laughs> wow. So uh, uh, let's hear about your. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as you know, there are two qualifying sessions, yes. followed by a race. My first qualifier was not a good one, but as always, my fastest laps were my last laps. This is not how it should be. No. Your fastest lap on a battery-powered go-kart should be around the middle. <laughs> Tires are warm. Batteries Tires warm. are warm. Batteries warm. And also at its optimal level of voltage. Voltage drops considerably, but for some reason, I always get my fastest lap on the last one. Uh, in the first qualifier, I finished eighth with a 22-1, oh. which was not good. But eighth? Uh, good. Eighth of the first group. Oh, of the 10. <laughs> of the 10 okay. in the first group. Okay. There are two groups. Okay. So realistically, that was probably good for... 19th <laughs> no like 17th overall not great i was like i need to improve so i did i clocked the best time i've ever had on my second qualifier a 21664 okay which was good enough usually really fast right yeah usually a 218 is decent that would get me into like the top of the slow group that time today got me fifth overall. Oh! I was feeling very confident. And, and then the me. race happened. <laughs> <laughs> I actually picked up a place on the first couple turns, so I was in fourth. Uh, and then I got severely destroyed by two guys behind me who basically both pit maneuvered me one way and then pit maneuvered me the other way. And I lost five spots. I was in ninth, finished ninth. <laughs> but that's 11. No, ninth is uh, 20, 19, 18. That's 11 points 
Okay. For 12 okay. points. So uh, I'm actually looking really good going into the third week. I'm feeling pretty confident. Yeah. It's going so way better than before. You're, you're um, looking at a possible top 10? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think going into this week I'll be top 10, but I might be... I might have moved up to like 13th maybe. Okay. We're still. Yeah. Um, to, I, I think making huge improvements though. Like I really felt pretty good. I haven't looked at the race. I have it on here. Well, um, I mean, but like we, I said, I haven't looked at it. <laughs> you, you lost out. So I feel like we have to look at it, which is. <laughs> Great news for us. Bad. Now the stupid thing isn't. <laughs> yeah, it is quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> Forty-seven. This should be it, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, that looks like I could be. That. Mm. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's it. Yeah, I mean, you, you look to be in about fourth. Uh, great show tonight. Thanks for letting JR Lex and Countdown Zero Thanks. <laughs> That's good, JR. That's very good. <laughs> and so accurate. Uh, does Canadian carding have different rules to make it easier? Kind of like five pin bowling. <laughs> you know, five pin bowling is actually harder. Thank you very much. <laughs> and drink. <laughs> All right. Let's see how badly this went. Yes. <laughs> and that ton. That's good. It's, okay. it's Pewis. Pewis Hamilton. Pewis and Matton. <laughs> okay. Let's All right. Let's here, get... here we go. Here we go. Let's, <laughs> let's get racing. Do they say sorry okay. if they pass you? <laughs> <laughs> green flag, green flag. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. You're immediately... Okay, you started in fifth, not fourth. But started you in you... fifth, and then I pick up a spot. Inside line. line. Now in fourth. fourth. Fourth, immediately. And then watch this. Oh, no. I get around okay here. Still in fourth. How oh, is this possible? This can't be right. I don't remember being in fourth for this long. And then I mean, I'm like, okay, feeling good. Inside. Oh, okay. wow. That Look was an aggressive this. move. Third. Third. And then, bap. Oh, oh. Bap. Bap. Three, four. And five. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> oh, like, oh, God. Poorly. Now I'm in ninth. <laughs> You let that happen to yourself. Did I let that happen to me? You I don't remember allowing anything happening. Third place. I was like, oh, my God, I'm in third. And I stayed nice and tight. But okay. then that guy T-boned me. 33 yep. T-boned me big time. I couldn't recover. There was nothing I could do. No bumping, the sign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So... Uh, towards the end here, I did try to make a move, uh, but it was way too late. Nothing could happen. It was over. I feel like you could have defended a position loss or two there. I tried my best, man. I just didn't. There was okay. nowhere to go. Hey, the improvement. Yes. The improvement. Yes. You, you were just leaving room for improvement. That's what was happening. Exactly. But to qualify fifth and then yeah. get up to third, I was like, oh, this is the best day of my and life. And, you know, getting the points for the qualifying position is great. Yep. Yep. That's true. So, um, yeah, I felt uh, pretty happy about all of that. A good week for me. Yes. I mean, I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever been in the fast group. Have I? I don't know. Is that the first time? That might be the first time. No, there was one other time, but last oh, yeah. season. The last race. Ah, okay. That's right. Yeah. Playing with the big dogs now. <laughs> big dog. 
Uh, wow. All in all, slightly good. Damn, grown men playing with slightly larger cars doesn't do it for me either. Well, Nicole, just let me know the size of the car that it would take. <laughs> size queen. <laughs> That's your wife, man. Hey, we're married. See? You're right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Dark turn. Dark turn. <laughs> Uh, Charlie Shankles, thank you very much for the carding fund. Congrats. Thanks very much. Yeah, Appreciate it. I mean, I'm just saying. That worked out. Uh, it is so fun. And the guys there are all like, oh, man, you got to come do the outdoor stuff this summer. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. And I want to. <laughs> kind of want to badly. Um, I mean, there is another place. There's two different places in, like, local-ish. And... This one, they're like, eh, you don't need a race suit. Just wear a jean jacket. I was like, all right. <laughs> like, I have a whole closet full. <laughs> I, I got three. <laughs> they're like, Snell helmet. Nah. Just run what you brung. Okay. <laughs> Just wear a five-panel hat. <laughs> How fast do these go? Mm, about 80. <laughs> Whoa. Jean jacket, really? That is the most Canadian shit I've ever heard. Like they just assume, <laughs> like, oh, we know you don't have a race suit, but we know you have a jean jacket. We know you have a jean jacket, a hundred percent. Oh, no exposed my God. skin. <laughs> uh, Jr. Flex and count down to zero days. Lawson, thank you very much, Matt. Let Josh know he had a great show tonight, but you need to try harder. <laughs> hey, look at that body. I recognize that. Is that who yeah. I sold it to? It huh. very well could be. Very cool. Uh, and that's a good one. Uh, yeah, just wear your Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> and also a racing suit. You, many people didn't know that. <laughs> but you didn't know that. <laughs> this is 100% legal. <laughs> I should I should do that. That would be hilarious. <laughs> you should, you know. Or just get your... Uh, Custom printed racing suit done in a denim pattern. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With the bow tie. Like, yeah, exactly. 100%. Football helmet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah whatever works. <laughs> no, they're, sure. they still require a helmet. Uh, <laughs> Chats and a belly shirt. <laughs> <laughs> These are good choices. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. silly. I'm still going to send it. <sighs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Helmet airbrush to look like a five panel hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, JR. I'm glad. Uh, Run it still... in good health. Ah, uh, Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you gotta get and you get to pee in it first, otherwise you get cold. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You gotta warm it up. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh race week this week as well. It is. Thank you. We have made bets. Thanks some people. Made bets. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. Let's thanks. First of all, thank you to Trauma RN, uh well, a new member. Thank you very much. Black Sheep RC, uh Gunner, my meat belongs in your mouth. Listen, Hazad three. Dale C, Aardvark Splain, Tom Havel, Michael Rajka, uh, Aardvark Splain, Tom Havel, Toxic Crawlers, Caleb Phillips, Carson Jantz, JR, Lex and Count, Down Zero Days, Lawson. Uh, thank you to Pilot Ryan Media, Thomas Bialzik, Charlie Shankles, and JR, Lex and Count, Down to Zero Days, Lawson. Thank you, guys. <laughs> So, yes, this week is China. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which many of these guys have not been to. Yeah. Because the last Cause time they raised. Five was years. Been, yeah. 2019. Year. Yes. Need. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. President Legend. Duck Bandy. So, yes, uh, we're in China. Some A number of these racers have never been there. Or never raced there, and uh, it's a fast 
It's a long straightaway track. Long straightaway. So if you have McLaren or Mercedes, you're done. Yeah. I just. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I've got both. I've got both uh, uh, Hamilton and Lando. So. So screwed. I have Oscar. And oh, I don't have Hamilton anymore. But I still have Ricardo and Bottas. And lucky. Oh, You're so there's lucky. no part of luck that should be put with any stake car. Buckwild Motorsports, thank you. Uh, makes me want to wear my race quip fire suit to bananas <laughs> and race go karts. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sounds like it's worth it. I will take any pics you have on your phone. <laughs> you sick bastards. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, let me tell you my bets for this week. Yes, let's hear them. Because these are quality bets. I have not placed any yet. I'm going to, though. I'm going to make up for Just one moment. I have rest. to log in. Oh, I seem to have frozen the app. Always a good sign. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Max Piastri Alonso, one, two, three. That would work. I think out Alonso awesome. is going to be on the podium this this week. I would love for Alonso to be on the podium, um, because I have Fernando Alonso. Fernando. Fernando. Okay, so here are my bets. Because okay, let's Fernando. Uh, Two dollars straight bet. Fernando Alonso to finish on the podium. Okay. $2 wager nets me $46. For a podium? Yeah, just a podium. Okay. Uh, $1 bet on Carlos Sainz having the fastest lap. Gets me eight fifty. dollars Reasonable. Eh, possible. Could be. Possible. possible. Pull something out at the end. Here's the big one, though. This is the long shot for the week. It's a $2 straight same game parlay. Are you ready? Okay. Yep. The following three things have to occur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fernando Alonso has to finish on the podium. Okay. Uh -huh. Long shot, but possible. <laughs> possible. Charles Leclerc has to finish in the top six. Okay, for sure. Pretty reasonable. Long and Carlos Sainz has to win the race. But my $2 bet wins me $752. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I get why, because there's no <laughs> it's quite a long damn way. Shit. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the stranger thing things have happened for him to win and get fastest lap is not going to happen. Well, no, those are separate bets. Oh, I, I don't know, care. It's parley, right? No, but that's that's a whole oh, wasn't in that? that is a parlay. It's not in that one. Oh, okay. I thought it, that was in that parlay. Okay. No. No. Okay. I could I could care less about hockey. I didn't even know. I had to ask my friend if the Leafs were in the playoffs. That's how little I care. Oh, I didn't even know that it was playoff time for hockey. I didn't know I that they played playoffs. I don't even know how to play. I thought they did some sort of round robin thing. But Carlos winning will be the biggest F U to Ferrari. Yes. And that's I what I'm banking on it. I have Ferrari this week, so I hope that it happens. I need yeah. I want these Ferrari points. I want I want Red Bull to lose. And I'm a Max fan. <laughs> so <laughs> but it's more interesting when he doesn't win. Uh yeah, no, I agree. It is. Yes. And I'm a Max fan. So but still, I totally agree. It's yeah, no one yeah. I don't think anybody could argue against that. Right. It's better for the sport if he doesn't he win all the time. just that. that good. It'd be great, though, if, like, on the first lap, George Russell qualifies second somehow. And just dive bombs him. And just dive bombs him. <laughs> Smashes right, like, T-bones straight into the side of him. <laughs> and everyone in the crowd's just... <laughs> <laughs> We don't like either of you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a sprint weekend. Uh-huh. 
Yes. So, so they get racing limited on Saturday practice. again. Fantastic. I love sprint weekends. Um, I don't care. I like them because there's more racing. Like I like them. Yeah, I know a lot I of like people. I like them a lot. Like, rah, rah, rah. It's more oh, racing. quit your belly aching. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so yeah, like why not? Yeah, yeah, so this week I've got Piastri, Alonzo, Hulkenberg, Ricardo, and Bottas. Um, oh, Hulkenberg. I like Hulkenberg. I do not like Ricciardo. I think yeah. he is done. I think if he doesn't perform in this race, done. Lawson in the next car. For next season or during a mid a mid no, season swap? This this season. They'll never do it. What? I'll put that I'll put that in writing. They, right, they, eh? they Why won't. wouldn't they do that? They've because, done it before. Yes, but not to Ricardo. Uh, Ricardo no. is their marketing pony. They won't. Yeah, but he that gets that without driving that car. Doesn't matter. He could literally squat over top of it. And <laughs> <laughs> he could poop on the hood of Yuki's car. Make a big and poop. <laughs> They would make it a poster. So, <laughs> and then he would, <laughs> that would be the poster for the next race. <laughs> like, he should, you know what? He should try to just like get away with whatever he could. <laughs> you can't fire me, mate. Watch this. You need, this I've grin. got, you need this grin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a moneymaker. Uh, Carlos Sainz Jr., Lando Norris. L Pewis Hammatton, <laughs> Alex Albon, and uh, Zhu, uh, Zhu, Joe, Joe, Guan Yu. The fact that we both have a kick car, it's just that's our dog. Oh, who's your team for the week? I forgot to ask you. Ferrari, I've got Haas. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I spent all the money on Lando Norris, yeah. Oscar was expensive too, twenty two point one. Yeah, Lando's twenty six million dollars. Yeah, uh, Puis is a real bargain at eighteen point six million pounds. Yeah, Fernando's twenty one. Like Lewis, not know. like Lewis. I feel like he's gonna be the the cash cow at some point because he can't be this bad all into, year, right? Yeah. Like yeah. he'll dark horse his way into like a fourth or something. Yeah. Man, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But I'm looking forward to the... I love race weekend. Love Me too. Music. I didn't check what time the Me race too. is. Have you? Uh, No, I haven't looked. Let me look right now. Oh, I don't know. I have to renew my F1 app. Uh oh expired. It expired. And expired? On an old... Expired? Uh, well, it was on a credit card that expired, so... China. Um, weekend warm up is at four thirty a.m. Thursday, so in five hours. That's even late my time. <laughs> Two a.m. Central, midnight. Okay, midnight. I can be up for. Excellent. And then practice is at twelve eleven thirty tomorrow night. It's about practice. Okay. It's about yeah, practice. Sprint qualifying is at three thirty. In the morning on Friday? Oh. Ugh. 1 a.m. Okay, at 1 30. That's I'm not oh, staying up for 12 this 30. One. Way. 12 30 a.m. Okay. Yeah, 12 30 for you. I am not staying up. That's too late. When's for the race? Qualifying? I mean, that's probably too late for me too. The race on Sunday. Oh yeah, wait. When's the sprint? Eleven o'clock Friday night. Okay, I can deal with that. So that's, that's nine o'clock my time. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, the race is at 3 a.m. <laughs> Sunday. So midnight that's for brutal. me. Excellent. I can do that it. That sucks. On a weekend. So bad for me. Yeah, that does suck for you. I don't know if you have till two. Winner, winner. I'm Damn it. good to go. All right, let's end this thing. Yep, much appreciated, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Love Thanks. you guys. Have Thanks a great to the whole week. Deluxe crew. Who joined. Yeah. Um, what's on the bench tomorrow? Some point.
Love you. Bye. There you go. Bye.